Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Elena. Happy 2022. Whoa. After news, we'll be recapping all of the crazy events that happened last year. Yes, and that is with us. Bishop Ludden has gone virtual for a week because they could not find enough substitutes to remain open. Several students have also tested positive. We understand the inconvenience and we are very sorry, said Bishop Ludden superintendent on Twitter. Ludden is one of a few schools statewide to go temporarily virtual due to the amount of COVID cases. Syracuse City schools are also remaining virtual. Two Syracuse men, J.R. and Harp J.R. and Eric Harp, were accused of being a part of a robbery and shooting during the, f the fall are now being accused of attempted murder. Eric Harp was taken into custody without bail October 21st. His many charges included attempted murder, attempted ro robbery, attempted reckless endangerment, and criminal possession of a weapon. J.R. and Harry R. were arrested December 28th on an incitement warrant and arraigned the next day. His charges included attempted murder, first degree robbery, first degree assault, and second degree criminal possession of a weapon. Both are scheduled for court this week. So in other news, icon Betty White passed away at 99 years old on December 31st. Right. Which was almost made it to 100. And she, she her 100-year-old um, magazine came out at Target. Yeah, yep. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So like we said, today's show is a recap of some of the 2021, recap of 2021, and we're going to start off with some movies. So I know there are many movies out there, and I tried to highlight some of the most popular. Some of the most popular movies last year included Spider-Man No Way Home, Shang-Chi and The Legend of Ten Rings, and Venom. Let there be, is it Kamage? Carnage. Carnage. Are you sure? Carnage. And I also found three of last year's most popular and listened to songs according to iHeartRadio. Can we get a drum roll? On uh, number three, we got 34 plus 35 by Ariana Grande. Number two, uh, Save Your Tears by The Weeknd. And number one, what do we think number one is? Oh. Levitating by Dua Lipa. Or Dua listens to iHeartRadio? Everyone listens to iHeartRadio. Dua Lipa, which everyone's heard Levitating by Dua Lipa. That song's always on. It's always playing. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at some of the craziest weather events in the past year. Before we get into today's New Year weather, I'll go over the top three weather events from 2021. Number three is how we had a sudden amount of snow and ice in mid-February. Number two is how we had lots of flood warnings in the summer and plenty of rain. And number one is the massive amount of tornado warnings, going from 17 warnings in 2020 to 68 warnings in 2021, which hasn't been that high since 2011. Now onto our Monday morning weather. Today will be very cold with a high of 23 and a low of 17 degrees. Today will have an early January chill and a few snow flurries here and there. Overnight will be more cloudy and have some lake effect snow here and there. Tuesday will be slightly warmer with a high of 38 and a low of 28 degrees. And Tuesday will start the day off cold but will warm up as the day progresses with some sun and clouds appearing as well. Wednesday will be much warmer with a high of 44 and a low of 29 degrees. And Wednesday will be breezy with lots of clouds and even some rain and snow developing over Wednesday night. With that, I'm Grayson with your Monday morning weather. All right, so we've covered movies and songs. Now it's time to cover what we've all been wanting to hear. What's that, Elena? TikTok trends. Looking back, there's been many popular TikTok trends. One trend in particular is the Vogue challenge, which my personal favorite. Wait, oh, there where we did you go. get these? Oh my God, look at that. Look at that at Panera. Look at that one. How did you get these pictures? Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you don't need to know. <laughs> look at that. All right, so we're going to head into sports now and look at the sports events, major events of 2021.
became the newest member of the weight room's 500 club. Andrew squatted 285 and bench pressed 215. Great job, Andrew. Thursday, the boys' bowling team beat Baldensville 2-1. The, the girls' bowling team lost to Baldensville 3 0. The boys' basketball team lost to CNS 58-37. Tristan Henderson led the team with points with 10. The wrestling team lost to Fulton 54-18. Winning for the Spartans were Caden Scott, Carlo Vern, Dylan Johnson, and Ian Schroeder. On Thursday, the JV girls' volleyball won their first tournament at Mount Markham. Congratulations to Aquani for getting the MVP of the team award. In college football, Alabama and Georgia won the respective semifinal games and will face each other in the college football championship game. In upcoming games, the boys and girls bowling teams have a match today at Central Square at 3.30. Girls volleyball plays tonight at Oneida at 6.30. And sticking with the theme of 2021 recap, the most viewed sporting events were the Tokyo Olympics, the Euro Championships, and the Rugby World Cup. In the NFL, a loss was suffered over break as revolutionary head coach, amazing commentator, in the face of Madden, John Madden died at the age of 85 over break. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Before we go, let's take a quick look at some crazy things that happened this year. Scientists at Brown University fully connected a human brain to a computer via a transmit device. National Geographic cartographers recognized the world's fifth ocean as the swift current encircling Antarctica. And last but not least, NASA's Perseverance robot made oxygen on Mars. We're going to be living on Mars. Yeah, yeah. Well, Lisa, um, let's kick it off the new year on a high note. From me, Josh, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day and an awesome week.